Boards are more than just rules and regulations. Boards is, are a living organism whereby you have to have people who can really contribute to the governance of the company. Boards are pretty unique or, uh, institutions and they differ from uh, company and country to country. As a board member, you also have to respect that you are in charge of uh, helping the CEO, you're in charge of controlling the resources of the company, you're in charge of helping to set the ambition of the company, but you're not in charge of running the company. That is what you have delegated to the executives to do. We focus quite a lot on uh, the way that the board is uh, put together. We also make a big item of the uh, split between the uh, chairman function and the CEO function because we think it's very important. We even recommend that former CEOs do not uh, take on the role as uh, chairman but uh, after their CEO stint leave the company and do something else so that there is a real independence of, uh, of opinion. That is sometimes controversial but we find it is uh, worthwhile to try to do that. Shareholders sometimes have felt that they were uh, pretty far removed from what was happening to the companies and certainly in companies with uh, very dispersed ownership they felt that they were not really taking part in what was going on and that management was just doing what they wanted to do. It is a lot better if you can have direct contacts with the people who have made the investment in your company. You can talk to them and explain to them what, uh, what is going on. In that sense, I think uh, shareholder activism, if we can bring it in the right context, is certainly a positive development and I'm, I'm certainly not someone who is against uh, shareholder activism.